over 300 kilometers of roads in the Greater Ruero district are to be tarmacked and constructed. According to the station manager, Yuna Ruero, Franka Rutebaruka says the roads include Ziro Wekasana, Chichusa Kamira, Bamgolode, Kasiso Mazi, Nabalanzi, Karure, Bamunanika, Kayindubusika, Chawakade, Karure Boa, Nakaseke, among others. The Minister of State for Higher Education, Dr. John Crisesto Muyingo, was on a working visit of the station. Plan. We have already started on the, on the Rugogo Bridge. The Rugogo Bridge is around, around 10% done. The contractor is CCCC, the serious contractor. So all the roads are under plan. Be from 200 to 300 kilometers. You know, when we are working on certain roads, we always give some urban councils some kilometers. When, when, for example, when we are working on Uruwero Tarago, when we reach a, a trading center, we give them more kilometers as they request. We make access to this important. Uh... Utebaruka, however, encouraged those whose parties will be affected to remain calm as government through Yundra are committed to compensate them and urge the communities to allow the projects to continue for the betterment of developments in the area. The State Minister for Higher Education, Dr. Criseso Moyingo, commended the communities in Greater Uero and promised that the NRM government and President Museveni is committed to improving the roads infrastructure in the area and the country at large. One way of sacrificing is to accept the, whatever, the, whatever comes out of the compensation. My advice is that we should all be looking forward to developing, to allowing development to take place in our area. Some people wouldn't like to, to lose even a minute of their land. I know people would want to have a lot of money from this competition, but please we should also talk and understand that uh, it's very expensive to construct a road. Two, uh, many people are involved when it comes to competition. He appealed to communities, especially those within areas of these projects, to comply with the contractors and advise them to use the roads constructed by government to transport their produce to markets for poverty alleviation and hunger. It's of transport which is used in where it is road transport. So by doing it to maintain and maintain the roads in where this is going to improve the standards of living of farmers who are residing in that area. Mutoni Hilda and Salam Kasvante, UBC.